12th patient day at the BMT and it's the first time this is happening in Portugal. So it's a great honor to receive the EBMT meeting here in Lisbon. During the patient day, there is a, a variety of talks about transplantation given by professional people and also by families and patients about what's involved in bone marrow transplantation. Also, we can see artwork done by patients from here, from Lisbon. And there are also some books published by patients. I had leukemia and I won, <laughs> I won the war here in Portugal. 20 years ago, I was part of a music group in 2010. Uh, I was pregnant, 14 weeks, and I was waiting for my results about my pregnancy. And they called me and said uh, I had leukemia. I had to abort, and I and I had um, painful and very long treatment. But I'm here. You have to have hope strength and you have to do your job, your, your work. Stay focused but positive. Don't stop dreaming. Uh, be busy with something, no matter what, to keep you from always thinking that you're ill. And remember that you are ill. You are not the illness. I think this reunion is very important uh, to all of us because we, we change experience uh, we, we talk about our problems, our problems, and I think this is a way to 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 help uh, one another. All patients deserve the learning about their disease, their rights, and uh, how to better get through this is difficult stage of their lives. Uh, so, patient association are present to ensure and an easier transition into this new reality. Now I think we need to influence also the politicians to make them um, aware about the needs um, during the transplants and also the aftercare because we have a lot of uh, gaps even in the um, late uh, side effects and, and how to care about them. So, and I think if we are having this committee, it's not only for the patient and family day then, we can do it the entire year to make a better outcome even for the transplanters. Because the patients need to know um, what are the um, symptoms I have to be aware of uh, when I need to see my doctors again. Or, you know, how can I, um, how can I make awareness for the public that they are willing to be registered as a donor as well?